Steve Azalo. Hi, Ron. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you. How are you doing today? Great. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing very well. Colleen Burns joins us now. She's, uh, wow, she's, she's raised six sons. That in itself is, is amazing. Uh, she has a back, <laughs> pause back for pause. The, yeah, I can imagine. Uh, <laughs> she's uh, been a, a national, local uh, TV journalist, et cetera. She's been around, and she knows her stuff. And we're talking about uh, having meals with the family uh, and the kids and all of that, which I guess we're doing more of than we used to, or are we? I think we're doing more of it, uh, definitely, but I think uh, we're all trying to grapple with what is our new, our new normal, and with back to school happening right now in a lot of places in the country, some kids are in the classroom, some kids are at home, some kids like mine are doing a little of each, so that's right. just kind of difficult to, to make those meal plans and make sure your kids are fueled up for the day, and I know that's always been a consistent struggle for parents looking for those quick and easy meal ideas. Yeah, well, let's. Let's start with the beginning of the day, whether your kids are staying home or going off uh, to another location for school. Uh, how important right. is breakfast and what do you do about it? Well, you know, I always like to look for high protein, you know, protein packed meal snacks because it really helps my kids feel more nourished and full uh, for the beginning of the day. And that's important. Um, I love this new product. They're called casserole bites. It's like a, the comforting taste of a breakfast casserole, but in a little convenient bite. They're made with Jimmy Dean sausage and some real eggs in there, and then other favorites like bacon, potatoes, and cheese. You can just pop them right in the microwave. It's They're so easy to make. The kids can even make them themselves. And then if you're looking for something else in the morning that's also protein-packed, but maybe you're counting calories, Jimmy Dean Delights has this breakfast wrap that is um, made with real veggies, all natural turkey sausage or bacon, scrambled eggs, and then that's wrapped up in a whole wheat tortilla. My son Trey really likes the turkey sausage and veggie version. They're kind of cheesy, and you can actually taste the crispiness of the green peppers in there. So they're really, really tasty and a really filling solution in the morning. Interesting. Jimmy Dean lived uh, two blocks away from me when I was growing up. I mean, he's a lot older than I was, but uh, wow, yeah, that was that's a nice yeah, story. He was a cool guy. He moved to New Jersey in his later life, believe it or not. Huh. <laughs> it's crazy. Seems like such anyway, a down home kind of guy. He, well, apparently, originally he was, I guess, then not. Yeah. Uh, okay, so now we're getting upon lunchtime again. Some kids are in school having lunch. A lot of kids are being dismissed before lunch in many school systems. So lunch is coming into play now. Yeah, and it's important, again, you're trying to keep your kids fueled up throughout the day. They're, they're busy learning. You want to make sure they're on task. And an easy and filling solution is always a sandwich at lunchtime, but it doesn't have to be boring. You can make, for example, a warm garlic mayo with turkey and ham sandwich on your favorite rustic bread, or you could make a southwestern ham wrap using a tortilla with some cream cheese and veggies and some taco seasoning in there. You can roll it up and cut it into pinwheels. Um, kids always like when the, um, the sandwich looks kind of different or fun. I always look for Hillshire Farm lunch meat because they're oven roasted turkey and they're all natural honey roasted ham. They don't have any nitrites or nitrates or artificial flavors added, that's important. And their sure. ham is all natural um, honey roasted ham, which is great. And if you're like me, I like to either throw it on top of a salad or roll up a slice or two in the afternoon for just a quick little pick me up that's a low carb and high protein snack. Yeah, yeah adults can eat too. <laughs> we're, Absolutely. We're always, you should don't forget to always, eat. <laughs> we're always talking about kids being healthy and hey, hey, what about the larger part of the population? Okay. Right. Uh, it's like putting on your are, oxygen mask before helping your kids kind of thing, uh, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Well, you know, for, for some people. <laughs> All <laughs> right. Some, snacks. Snacks uh, I don't get. I don't understand. Uh, some of them are good for you. Some of them are bad for you. They always seem to do a sugar or salt thing. I mean, I don't know what to do for a snack. What happens there? <laughs> well, it is important right now to be consistent and comforting with your kids, the same meal times, the same bedtimes as possible. Um, and then some comfort foods are always good, and chicken nuggets are always a favorite comfort food uh, yeah. for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, they're well-rounded. They're, they're great in the afternoon for those hangries. And what I like is Tyson Fun Nuggets are all white meat. There are no antibiotics. They've got whole grain breading. Um, the ingredient list is just tiny. There are like three items on it. So I feel good about that. And they come in these great dinosaur shapes that my Sammy just adores. And they're just, you know, 
minutes in the oven or the microwave. You can pair it with some veggies or some fruit um, and some dipping sauces if you want. But yeah, that's a really easy snack and and I feel good about that. It's okay to, to use uh, frozen food for snacks and meals. Yeah, Why not? Sure. As long as you're looking at the label sure. and making sure what you're feeding your kids is something you recognize. Right. Well, it's better than what you get in the restaurant uh, sometimes. I'll tell you yeah, that. true. You don't know what they're doing with that stuff there, back there. All right. right. Uh, dinner. Here we go. Dinner, dinner, dinner. Dinner is so important right now, and we were talking about spending more time at home. And I think, by and large, people are. I'm spending more time in my kitchen, and I like to cook, so I'm enjoying new recipes and that kind of thing. But I'm also finding that my family is very comforted just with the aromas and the warmth of the food and that extra time together. And if you don't have a lot of time, I always uh, go to those one skillet meals. Those are easy, you're not making a mess and everything's cooking at the same time. So you start with a protein for the base of the, the meal. I like Adele sausages because they're already, um, they've got this bold flavor that's already in the sausage, so you don't have to add any extra seasoning if you don't want. And then pair it with a starch, maybe a sweet potato cut up, any leftover veggies you might have. I, I'm a big believer in not wasting leftovers. And we, some of us have a lot of extra leftovers now because we are cooking more at home. But throw those in there and then put the top on, on the uh, skillet and let it simmer for about 45 minutes. You'll get those flavors all mixing together and those potatoes will cook all the way through. Very nice. Very nice. Wow. Okay. Uh, where do I go for more information here? You can get more information on the products we were just talking about and you can also get some more recipe ideas at Jimmy Dean or Hillshire Farm or Tyson Brand or Adele Sausages. Well, Lynn, you sound amazingly sane considering you, you raised uh, six <laughs> sons. But, uh, I, I, Thank uh, you. I appreciate that. That's it. That actually was a compliment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Good talking to you. Good talking to you too, Ron. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.